does this election make you want to escape maybe to Canada? <laughs> well, you're not alone. Searches for travel to Canada spiked 40% recently after the most recent debate. Uh, searches from Mexico were up 107% after the most recent debate compared to the same day last year. Well, if in five days things do not go your party's way, travel experts at Hotels.com can help you find an out-of-country destination that feels like home. Joining us right now in a Fox exclusive, Hotels.com North America General Manager, Josh Belkin. Josh, good to see you. Good morning. Good to be here. So first, characterize what we're seeing right now. A lot of searches in terms of leaving the U.S. after November 8th? Yeah, I think every election cycle you hear people talking about if their candidate doesn't win, they're leaving. Uh, this year we really see people are putting their money where their mouth is. Uh, as you said, searches are up for lots of destinations outside of North America, uh, outside the U.S. And people really want to break, whether it is to buy uh, a round trip and take a little getaway. And we don't know how many people are buying one-way tickets, but regardless, we're seeing lots of interest uh, for people traveling abroad. Um, and where? with the strong where, where U.S. dollar, it's a great time. Where are the top destinations, Josh? London is really our top international destination, and you know, particularly after Brexit, we saw a huge increase in demand there. And it's amazing how far your money goes in a place like London now, which stereotypically has been very expensive. Uh, I was just there myself last week, and it's mind blowing where $200 gets you for a hotel now. You can stay in four or five star hotels wow. in central London uh, very inexpensively. Partly because of the British pound. The British pound, although it's rallying today. Uh, yes. So, Josh, when you see these people traveling, um, uh, going, are they booking one-way tickets? Like, do, you, do you see a lot of that, honestly? We're, we're, we're not in the air business, uh, so it's hard for us to tell, but we do see when people do travel abroad, I mean, they, they're definitely multi-day trips and sometimes multi-stops along the way. Yeah, but people are saying if so-and-so wins, I'm moving to Canada. I don't know why Canada. Why always Canada? I think Barbara Streisand says she's going to Australia. Oh. Yeah. Well, if people want to go somewhere warm, Mexico is actually a place we've seen quite a lot of uptake in, in particular. Uh, you know, Mexico beach resorts are very popular destinations. And again, with how the U.S. dollar is done against the Mexican peso, great values there, coupled with all inclusive resorts. I mean, you're talking four, four and a half, five star excellent resorts, uh, everything all in for about 400 a night, which is a pretty great value. Well, and with your, what about Europe, not outside of Britain in terms of travel destinations? Because once you got past kind of the, the terror events of, of, of late last year, and then you have the, the, it's cheap because the euro has fallen so much in recent history. Yeah, absolutely. So Paris, Rome um, are, are another top European destinations for us. And travelers are really resilient. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of uh, unfortunate world events that have happened, which have perhaps put a slight dent in things. But travel, travelers are really resilient. We're seeing good, strong demand in those places. And then you look at airfares, they're down with oil being cheap. And you, the whole travel package is actually quite a good value to go long haul right now. And we're seeing a lot of people taking advantage of that. So what, tra what hotel recommendations do you have for us then? Uh, you know, for, for me, I, I love going down to, uh, to Mexico, the all-inclusives. There's uh, a bunch in the Playa Mujeres area, which is just north of Cancun. You get the convenience of flying into Cancun, but you're a world away from the hustle and bustle of central Cancun, uh, and you're right on the beach with that turquoise water. Uh, when, you're, when you're in London, yeah, I like staying Zika alive. Zone? Is, that, is that a Zika zone? Is, is Zika it's, still an issue? You know, we've seen the same news reports I'm sure you guys have, but travelers have been really resilient, and uh, we're still seeing lots of demand going there. The planes are still flying full. Hotels are going full. And, you know, when they're struggling perhaps in the short term to fill rooms, they work with us, and we help get those discounts on to customers, and, and they're buying. All right. We'll leave it there. Josh, great info. Thanks so much. Great. Thanks for having Josh me. Josh Belkin joining us there.